bring that here, bring that action into Grand Finals, started things off here with the run back against Fiend and Use. Um, and um, what? Ballhaven? Uh, they truly have no fear. And the reason they have no fear is because they're playing two bald legends. <laughs> that is how you have to live life as a bald man in this world. You cannot live with fear or this world dominated by the hairs will rip you up. It will chew you up and it will spit you out. We'll see if they can keep this pressure up in this set here. Power Ranger and West are coming from the elimination bracket, which means they have to win two best of five sets against Fiend and Use. Meanwhile, Fiend and Use with the winner's bracket. Blessing only have to win one. Somehow Fiend did not punish that charge held D-Sig from West, and that blows me away. Praise unto the words of the uh, one and only Sparkalicious himself. But uh, I, I must say, Fiend does have a good, uh, actually a great hairstyle, and that's why he is not going to be succeeding. As you said, the double up here from the uh, the kings themselves, Power Ranger and Wes, with the double team off of the uh, the Dull Sims, and it's still working. However, that side air is going to even th uh, get close to evening things back up pretty quick. West, man, he's still going in. There are two members on the opposing team while his friend is respawning, and he's like, "Let's I don't go, <laughs> let's get it." Pedal to the metal. My foot is on the gas. All gas, no brakes. Uh, oh my goodness, what an evasion! <laughs> what a last second evasion right there. The range coverage from Fiend has been so on target. We mentioned it back in Winners. He has such a high signature accuracy that you need to be fearful of any time that he uh, goes for one. Uh, however, his guitars have been on point too. As he goes back in for the dare, he knew that Power Rangers was going to come and try and help him. He almost actually got him hit, which would have sent him right over onto Use. But he does get caught in center as they continue this lead. Wes swapping over onto the gauntlets off the weapon spawn that was in the middle of the stage. Fiend without a weapon. He's able to grab that spear pretty quickly. Doesn't take too much damage in the process, but he is the only one on his final stock. Neutral Sig comes out. No major punish. He's able to jump away before any hit comes out. Fiend does get punished. Maybe if he starts throwing out those signatures on this map, it's a little bit smaller, so his, his opponents might already be in a good position to end up punishing it. That's a good point, because before oh, they were going forward. unchecked, but now... Oh, wait a minute, this is a big play. Fiend is probably not going to make this one back. He stole the one and amazing no way. reversal from no Fiend. Way. No way. That, that's a Queen 9 move. No one else is going to be doing that. Only people who aggressively play Queen Nye as a legend know to hit the turnaround GC down signature because it pops you back and can touch your back against the wall. Fiend ends up getting knocked out, but man, what a maneuver from Fiend to not only throw out a hitbox, but also touch the wall. And Yu's trying to do his best to answer back for what was an incredible play from Fiend. Currently looking at what the main target would be Power Ranger, but good luck with that, because Power Ranger, like we said before, impossible to knock out sometimes. However, did send them back off stage, gets hit. That should end out first one as Power Ranger and was answer back with the game on the board. Bald, bald. Ball, 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 Good ball. Up. Come on, chat. Ball, ball, <laughs> ball. I better see chat filling up with balls right now. <laughs> Wes and Power Ranger coming in with this double Dawson pick. Seems like they are tearing apart Fiend and Use, at least in game one. And uh, once again, I'm taking a look over to that graph. And this, you know, we're talking about this with uh, Demon Island. And uh, I'm seeing a very long straight line on Wes on last stock. Uh, even prior to everything that happened, uh, but even before that, there was a lot of uh, miniature points where it was minimized damage between both of those teams. But it was definitely uh, Wes with that 551 kind of tearing up there. Chat's filling up with balls. Let's go. I see. I see bald. Bald. Let's go. Oh. We love to see it. What's oh, up? neutral signature coming out from Wes. Zabaldo coming through, sneaking his way onto the left. I might have to start cheering it myself soon. While well, Wes sneaking through, and look, the, the main target of focus, who was a huge issue in winners' finals, definitely was Fiend. They have been solving that so far, Sparky. I, I just, the fact that they're going back to this map is an interesting choice for the blue team because I feel like on this map, that high defense, it's not nullified, mm -hmm. but it's definitely not as valuable as it is on so many of the other stages. I'd be thinking that they want a big stage, the Demon Islands, the Fortress of Lions. I think you're very correct because Fiend is already on his last stock and we just passed seven minute mark. Uh, I mean, the stocks are going to fly here no matter what, but the fact that you are falling with like this defense is it's not good. Uh, you need a, you need to solve that as quickly as possible. As Fiend already at sweat beads does find nice. a reversal cider though, and nice. he's going to get West for that. West is not going to be able to get the wall touch. That was a great reversal that he got off stage. 
just this is so wild because there is a lot of confidence in this game. They have the swag on their side. They are taking out Yuzin Fiend so far. That's continuing into game two when they're already up 1-0. And if we look at winner's finals, it was 3-1 in favor of Fiend and Yuz. Yeah, and uh, that's... It, it looked solid at that, too. They saw this team really very, did. very well. Uh, but recovery is not going to be enough to send them packing off the top. Fiend is doing his best to hold on to this stock. But you're a straight hit territory away from falling. So Yuz has got to do his best to help keep them off of Fiend. Oh, big side air. Unfortunately for Power Ranger, he didn't have any major move that can KO off the top. If he hits an Axe Nair there, not going to KO. Doesn't have a lot of active force on it. If he goes for the recovery, which is a KO move, it was, wasn't even close for that to hit. So that's why you saw him go for that Cider, even though he was so close to the top. That is going to put Yuz on final stock. Fiend alone for just a moment. We're seeing Yuz come back in. Are they able to close out this stock before Yuz gets back? No. Going to hit the recovery. Send Power Ranger at least flying, splitting up the red team just a little bit. Fiend's defense has been phenomenal so far as they do find it. Wait a minute. This is all of a sudden more doable. Side air still does not connect. Neutralize is going to send them off, but it's not going to be enough to get the knockout. And they're getting some damage on, but they still cannot get rid of Fiend. They're just not finding the KO moves that they need. Like, they'll hit a down air, but it'll be on the main stage. Side air from the middle is going to do it. That side air from Wes is also going to send Yuz over. DC comes out from Power Ranger. A little bit of punishment there. They do need to be careful here. They have Yuz in the orange Power Ranger. He's going out there, does the spot dodge, knows he can't hit any move over there, so he just backs up. Great follow-up. Neutral light into the side sig from Wes, and that is going to be them now going up 2-0 over Fiend and use on the precipice of a bracket reset. Perfect positioning right there on Weston Power Ranger to go ahead and shut that down, but that was uh, not as dominant as the first one. Mostly, uh, you know, Fiend bringing it back together after a while and use they did their best to try and find that knockout on West, but West and Power Ranger have gotten that clutch factor back, I think, that we didn't see before. And once again, surprising B onto us, they are running it right back to the same stage. Uh, it's, it's definitely a mystifying choice for them to continue to do this. Maybe they're just waiting for this set to run out. <laughs> oh, that was so close. The high defense of Queen Nye somehow keeping Fiend in this one instead of losing that first stock. That side's getting an orange all the way over there. Almost was that incredibly early KO. That's where that uh, Queen Nye pick all tournament has come into play, whereas Hattori would probably have exited the building, but yep. every single one of them currently in the red, but it's it's been Power Ranger and West who have struck first so far each time. The team combo lineups have been working. Neutral Lights setting them off. That's Good a big punish. whip punish. That's there we two go. whip punishes right there for Fiend. That's the punish we needed to see from Fiend that we didn't earlier. He was confident. His timing was good. He chose the right option to get the KO. Incredible work from Fiend on that one. And they're in the lead, even after Fiend falls, still in the lead. West, oh, got him dipping. He knew he was going to bounce back off the wall right there, catching him at that ground pound. Great patience, too, being right next to Axe Recovery without budging while you saw Power Rangers just hovered over on the left side of the stage saying, you got it. Finish your food. You got it. I know you can get rid of them. Axe Neutral Light's coming out. The double axes from Power Ranger and West at the same time. Oh, the bottom side of that just barely going over the corner. Fiend even throws out another one. Ooh, See, there you go. The neutral God. air, even that high, is not going to take out. Doesn't have a lot of variable force on it. That's why it's not a KO move. It's already hot enough back here with the lighting and everything, and I'm getting sweaty, stressed from how crazy Power Ranger has been making attempts at finding these knockouts off the top. Is he going to go after him with the side air? It won't be enough. Weapon toss forces him to go high, and Fiend gets in there to help you get back. I'm telling you, it's the lights, it's the gameplay, it's all these yoga fires and all of these yoga Yoga Flames coming out. There it is. Perfect timing. Amazingly called perfectly by Sparkalicious himself. Bald, 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 bald. <laughs> bald. The bald agenda is activating. <laughs> Balds everywhere. Rise up. <laughs> Two stocks of peace currently on the red team. That has now vacated at least one for Wes. Power Ranger doing his best to hover on the side. Weapon Toss comes through, almost bouncing him into that ground pound. He's not going to find it. But now you got to be very careful as he goes in with that dare to try and back them off himself. No lineups. Neutralize sets them apart. But he is still boxing right between them with no fear. That is just the story of this red team. They are not afraid of getting hit with that confidence behind them. It almost seems like, yo, Ooh. that throws off the blue team, but they're not able to finish that one up. Taking out West there would have been huge, but that's, again, that shows you right there how difficult it is to knock someone out 
that early. Even though they hit all those moves, even though they have the high KO potential on their side, it still wasn't enough. That was hitting the Nitrous at the end of the race, trying to finish it out at the last second. They almost ran straight through West at the top. But like you said, hard to find that knockout. Fiend now, however, gets his first shot at finding a 2v1, just dodging underneath that. You already know that's scary enough at the ledge. He sneaks through. Recovery's going to end that, though, as they get the reset. And we move into a fresh version where both of them are on the elimination side of bracket. That's the beginning of Too Fast, Too Furious when they're racing at the end and one of the racers ends up hitting the NOS a little bit too early. He has the smile on his face. He's like, yes, I got this one. I got Brian. He's out of here. No, Brian with the patience lets him run that out. Boom, NOS activated, flies past him, wins the race. Goes right over the bridge, yep. sticks the landing, kind of. That skyline got a little bit messed up. It's a pretty sad time. But that was still incredibly well done by Power Ranger and Wes, making this reset happen, refusing to, for once again, not be fearful of anything. We already see that they are refusing to go back to Small Brave, and this time we're going to switch things up here. We're going to take a trip over to Miami, which actually, as a matter of fact, I think that that movie was based out of Florida, and we're going to get it's the first game. It's also based on a true story. It is actually a documentary. Three, two, you got it. One, yep. Wrong. Not even going to challenge that. I believe you. Bald. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Finally, I, the balds have a leg up in this world. I love that it's Wes and Power Ranger representing the bald community here. They're, well, they're honorary balds. <laughs> now, I know all you people in chat are like, being bald is silly. Hee hee ha ha. The hairline will come for you one day. <laughs> My young viewers out there, it will come for you all. You are not immune. <laughs> well, um, right. <laughs> man, I forgot we talked about <laughs> I don't know what to talk about anymore. All right, here on Miami Dome uh, with the reset. Like, what was it? Uh, wow, okay, never mind. I was going to say, what was it that made them work so well uh, to get that dove in uh, the first set? But honestly, once again, just from watching him go off stage like that with no fear whatsoever, it is once again that no fear gameplay. They actually have refused to be conditioned into any type of fear in center by the blue team at all already. It is still really scary, though, because we see West and Power Ranger, like, they had the damage lead so far in this game. Use picking up the double D-Light there to get the full team wipe on the red team. This is what's really scary about the reset happening, even though Fiend and Use were the ones who got reset on. Mm -hmm. It's like that, that activation for Fiend. And because he came into this from the winner's side of the bracket, like this is essentially him going down into the elimination bracket like we've seen him do in the past yep. and then come back up and all but win the tournament, sometimes winning the tournament as well. So now we have that like Fiend activation and this is when Wes and Power Ranger should be the most scared. I know they're playing without fear, but I think in the back of their minds, there's a little bit of fear. Well, definitely playing as such a neutralized. We'll send them packing at least on that one. It took a long time to get it, though. And like you're saying, it's a clean slate here with the reset. Uh, no matter which way you look at it, you did lose three in a row, but you now have a fresh opportunity to try and get some dubs in your favor. That Nair sets them apart, but he was so focused on Power Ranger that he wasn't there to save views from Wes. Wes's ground pounds have been incredible on the edge as a way to finish up these stocks. Look at the spacing to get away from the side sig of feed and then continue the string, putting out huge damage, even getting the turnaround. It was like hovering off the back of the truck, like, help me, yeah. help. And they just kept hitting the gas, driving away from him, letting him not oh, get down. Man. And they just ran through him with a whole 18-wheeler themselves as they answer right back. Fiend and use their KO potential is so scary. Even that one was only two hits, but he picked up both members for both of those hits. Amazing job so far. Uh, definitely a big story told. Double oh. D-Light Sider is going to send him apart. That lets him get an attempt. And he turned his focus instantly, making it look like he was looking at Power Ranger. But the reverse hit of Axe Recovery sends him off pretty far. He does box his way back on with that Nair, though. He did that, I think, to not only give himself the chase dodge possibility, but also to move his teammate away from the opponent very quickly so you don't knock both of them out. If you throw that out there, you're putting a little bit of damage onto your teammate, but very little variable force. You're going to get your teammate just out of the way saying, get out of here. That way there's not two victims. There's only the possibility of one. What an incredible adjustment right there. At the very end, they saw the, over, uh, the attempt at the overextension to try and catch that axe recovery, but this right here, that team combo, when they had the, uh, the chance to do it, they did not get that at all pre-reset. They could not get a single team combo to work, and that definitely, a big part of it, seeming to be in favor of getting away, and they're going We're to go going. back. I they're seriously going to go back to Small Brawl Haven here for game number two.
It was Power Ranger and Wes's chance to ban down. Of course, they left Brawlhaven open. They won all of the games on Brawlhaven. And this is Fiend and Use choosing to go back to Brawlhaven. I, I have quite... They're, quite, they're playing without fear. I have quite, uh, yeah, maybe that. So it's like, all right, look, you think you can scare us? Not at all. Um, hopefully it works out for you. <laughs> because uh, the way that worked last time, uh, not so much uh, with that dominant victory. But they definitely looked much better, at least in that first game. Maybe there's something we don't know as they go into game number two. This could be off of the elimination activation that turns Fiend into just a completely different animal than we saw previously. Though he is taking quite a bit of damage this game, the most damage out of everybody so far. Ooh, that ends up hitting Wes, but it doesn't put him in too bad of a spot. Fiend sent over, flying to the left side. Use throws out the neutral signature. Fiend actually can't make it back off of that. I'm a little bit surprised. I feel like we haven't really seen Fiend not have enough to get back. I feel he like did most everything of the time... he could off of the car, like guitar movement that he yeah. could get out of that too. That just missed the bottom of that. Maybe that's a big part. Maybe that's part of why they don't want to go to something like Demon. They don't want to deal with the signature pressure from Dulcims on that small side blast zone. I, or, excuse me, the small, small wall. That's the only thing I can think of as to why we're going here instead of something like Demon Island. Seen Fiend over on the edge. It's now double gauntlets for the Dalsim team. That neutral air didn't quite send far enough for Power Ranger to be in the right spot to immediately follow up off of it. We have double gauntlets and double spear now. Side air, okay, Fiend is immediately on top of West, hits the side air, takes him out, puts him on his second stock. And they're, they're just waiting for, trying to wait for uh, Power Ranger to bunch first. They didn't want to rush over there when he's so low and mess up something, but Power Ranger is going to mess him up off stage. Use not choosing the correct route to get back on as they get him already down to his last stock. Oh, the red team wasn't able to put out hardly any damage on Fiend whatsoever. That would have been a huge moment for them to get the stock because he was pretty damaged as Use was spawning back in, but Fiend was able to just avoid the damage Damage, throws out the side signature. Shoot, that hit Wes in the yellow, and that almost put him off screen. That is how much strength this legend has. Power Ranger's gonna fall, but so is Fiend. Now, Wes is the one that seems to be different than everybody else here, but he's starting to take that damage on his second stock while everybody else is on final. And he said Wes was hanging out momentarily comfortable, but takes oh. a ground pound in exchange. What a great answer right there from use to get themselves all back to uh, one apiece. This, for the first second, I thought this was looking very similar to that pre-reset. Now, all of a sudden, it's not looking as bad, but they are getting juggled on. A little bit of misspacing there, though, for West. That could have been really bad. And we're looking at these double axes on this red team. The damage potential per hit is so high. The KO potential is also extremely high. Oh, doesn't quite have the timing or the reach to find that side signature. The second one does get punished. A little bit of team damage coming out there from West. A little bit of team damage back from Power Ranger. They take out Use Fiend in the 1v2, but this is a situation that he's found himself in so many times, but this one he will not be victorious in. We're going to head into game three, tied 1-1. I think a big thing that happened at the end there, not only from Fiend, but from Use, is they played much more grounded at the end against the double axe. It did not work. Uh, they kept trying to find combo starters, anything to not go in the air and take exchanges off of axe in there, off of axe there, and they have got played around very well by that because they realized, oh, okay, you keep trying to walk up to us. What if we just outrange you, what are you going to do about that? You keep walking directly at us in a linear approach, and we have punished you every single time for it as they even up the set count. And they're finally also feeling the punishment of Brawlhaven mm -hmm. because that time, because Fiend and Yuz ended up losing that game, it was their turn to get the first bans. What was the first thing they banned? It was Brawlhaven. They were like, okay, you're not going to beat me five times on Brawlhaven. No, sir. It will be limited to four. What even? What, what do you even reach with that? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> like five times in, what, is, what even is that at that point? Uh, <laughs> at that point, that's uh, that's a habit. That's, that's something you just need to get away from that. That's that one, pride man. that you're trying to solve by proving that yeah. you can take someone out yeah. there. That was not it. But we're going to switch over here, of course. Uh, more room to work with the moving platform, so you have the opportunity to have a couple of different escape options. And I think the biggest thing is just uh, survivability once again coming in. You have plenty of knockout potential as it happens instantly on cue. Reviews taking the first knock off of West. Power Rangers just like, oh, uh, my teammate was knocked out. It's time for me to go in. Every uh, brain cell in my body is telling me to not go in, but my heart is telling me to go in. So yes, sir. I am going in Rich Homie Quan style. Power Ranger has like protagonist armor sometimes, I swear. He's like, look, no, 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 this is my story to be told as he rushes forward. But you don't get to be the dominant force at number one seed like this without having that level of confidence, Marky. We're seeing the gauntlets and the axe coming out from this Rayman team. Fiend now coming out 
with some solid Qatar play here, adding up a lot of damage. His ground game is stellar. Again, another neutral light into the recovery. They're adding up so much damage so quickly. They have Power Ranger and Wes in the red. Gets through that side signature. It seems like those side signatures from Fiend Spear starting to lose a lot of yep. the potency they previously had as Wes falls there. Tried to dare into the wall to get that jump reset, but he didn't quite make it. I'm glad you pointed that out. It seems like they have they they've given it a lot of respect and they figured out the habits of where he likes to pull the trigger. And if you're taking that away, that was a lot of what Fiend used as space coverage between these two. That is a free punish right there, but Power Ranger currently hovering all over Yuz. Fiend taking a little bit too long to go help him out. Recovery gets through at least, and Yuz gets to live a little bit longer. Yuz gonna completely disengage from that edge guard Wes was attempting. Oh, you saw Wes go for the opposite direction. Reed, side light to the right. GC, side light to the left. Insig coming out from Yuz. You see on the top, he's dominating. That means he's picked up three KOs on this second stock. Wes in the 1v2. He's staring at three stocks, now two. This is gonna be very difficult. Yeah, he got the two stocks. That's great. They were both very much in the red. We have a completely different story as they're spawning back in completely fresh. They both have weapons as well. It's already been shown too that they could get these team combo lineups. They have had. They already have a few clips that are named oh, uh, that will be looked back. But Wes's defense. He's boxing between, getting away from the, uh, getting away from as quick as he can. Does get clipped, but he's minimizing the damage so far. I swear, he, like everyone else in in this game, if they were playing right now, they would be on the wall. They would be mm. camping on that wall, and they would not be in the middle of these two players. But somehow, Wes is like neutral, is extending up to like that very left edge of the main platform. And then now he's pushing towards the center, but he's going to get punished for it. D-Light side air coming out from Fiend. We are now looking at 2-1 in favor of Fiend and Yuz as we head into game four. I think I saw that correctly, too. Four knockouts were in favor of one of the two Dalsums, uh, none on the other side. So they had a decent amount of damage, but it wasn't enough to seal the deal, I think, for Power Ranger, if I remember correctly, who's the one who didn't have them. So you're going to have to solve that going into this next game, which currently looking uh, pretty solid, of course, for them. Still, they are up in the set count, but that was a good answer back for Fiend and Yuz. What? what? What's going on, man? <laughs> okay. Like, All right. I <laughs> who, who is in charge of banning? <laughs> All right. So two, <laughs> two, to, two to one set count here in the reset. And the, in the stage that has been won on, uncontested so far, goes the Power Ranger in use here in what could be the final game potentially for this set as Power Ranger attempts to end Fiend for going for that attempt all the way up at the skies. Now, like, they just banned this. Like, why, why are we here? Like, Power Ranger and West left this open, of course. That makes sense for them to do that. And then Fiend and User are like, okay, oh, we got this time, brother. We got a handle yeah. on it. That will not happen again. Nice ground pound, but unfortunately, Fiend was a little bit to the left. So it ended up sending to the right instead of that nearest blast zone, which is, of course, on the left. They get the first knockout on to use. Well, I mean, one thing that at least works is that after, if you do drop this, you do still have one more game, and the stage is going to be in your favor to pick. Hopefully you don't pick this stage again <laughs> on game back five. To Brawlhaven, but dude, we'll, see that, we'll see if that we'll see if happens. If they go, <laughs> we just pass off, pass off the mic to toast <laughs> in the production. No, room. you you can solo cast this one. You got it. You're, I got you're it. talented. You have you have more time with a mic under your belt than I do. So yeah, you're good on that no, one. No, 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 man. It. Look, this is this is like you said. This is bald supremacy right now. You can't walk away from this. That's true. I can't. I got I got to see this one through. Well, for all right the balls now, out there. Uh, two stocks apiece on everyone at the moment. I mean, it's looking better at least here at the start, but we've said that quite a few times. And then, well, yeah, that happens. Dude, don't pull, uh, stop going Bro, to this yeah. map. What, were, wait, you, what damage were you at? You were barely at orange. Like, I, it's it's the end of this, and Yuz and Fiend are like, oh, no, we lost this map again. And it's like, m my brother in cross, you, like, you chose the map. You made the sandwich. Like, wh that's how you find yourself in this situation. What are we doing? Well, they did find a knockout on the Power Ranger. Can they find one here on the west? Side air It's going to be enough. Wait okay. a minute. Okay. My, maybe they're, look, they're, they've been making a real big attempt to purpose wrong for a while, and it looks like it might finally happen here. As Power Ranger and West are suffering on their last stocks, they do have a chance to try and sneak one away from you so they can force a 2v1, and Fiend is taking some damage now. Yuz is starting to take a little bit as well. I would say between the 1v1 of Power Ranger and Yuz, it would be in the favor of Power Ranger. They take Yuz out. Fiend was doing a pretty good job. Like, his survivability is strong. He does fall there, but he was surviving in this game. Unfortunately, 
that meant that Power Ranger was just 1v1-ing Yuz, and then here, fifth time is most likely not the charm. I must look at the graph for Yuz's stocks. Okay, maybe, oh, wait. Fifth, maybe fifth time is the charm. Oh, wait a minute. I take it back, wait take it back. a minute. Feed has Wes on the ledge. He's kidding, not going to get the neutral lights. I was trolling. I was trolling. Okay, Wes in the 1v1 against Fiend. The victory here keeps them alive, pushes this one into a game five. The victory for Fiend and Yuz here means they take the tournament. Gold medal, their autumn champions. They're See? sitting on the potential of it right now. That neutral light gonna miss. Goes for the reverse nice. of recovery on the, the, the way back up. Exclamation points come out, Sparky. Like this, is, you can't you can't take a single hit right now, but if Fiend can find an Edgar, he almost gets him on the side. Wes keeps going for those, like, you walk off stage and then you turn around and Wes is going to make sure this one goes to the game five. D fifth time was not the charm. If they go back, um, I'm serious. I'm going to lose it on the microphone. Also, why? That is like the, that's like the fourth one of those that missed this game alone. Not even on the other stages. He kept going for that and he got punished for it every time. They gave up the side air and now, well, that, it's banned. Oh, it's banned. Oh, thank you. Which means we're most likely going to Miami Dome. Unless I'm they back out and redo it. And choose, <laughs> and choose like, small hey, brawl hey, haven. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to click small brawl haven. Uh, so we got uh, either small Fortress Alliance, small Enigma, or Miami Dome. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, Fortress Alliance was still open for a second. So uh, we are going, we're going to go to Fortress Alliance. It worked before. Will it work again? Game number five here in the reset, Sparky. We have the potential of Fiend and Use getting a huge dub here in Autumn's, leading into BCX, or will it be the dominant force of Power Ranger and Wes once again claiming another title? Based on everything I've seen, Wes and Power Ranger should be winning this one. If they don't, it is because of bald oppression. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> How am I supposed to follow up you after can't. that? You can't. You can't. You can't, you can't, you can't put me in this position, <laughs> <You> man. <can't. laughs> well, right now, we're looking at what could be Fiend and Yuse potentially getting that big dub here, making Sparky's night upsetting. But that one, at least, hey, congratulations. You're still alive after that recovery because the stage, a little bit bigger as Yuse, almost already got knocked out off the top. Oh, Yoga Flame coming out over the corner. There's the side air from Power Ranger. Ooh, Fiend, you saw that recovery coming out from Wes. He was looking for the KO. I'm putting a, I'm putting a count up, by the way, for every single one of these times, Yuz has a bit knocked out off the top where he would have been before. Now, I'm going to add to that. That's three. Okay. That's three That's knockouts three. that they did not lose to. Write now, that down, one, chat. Okay, so one on the other side. See, survivability has gotten much better here for all parties involved, and Yuz and Fiend still holding on what could have been a two-stock lead. Dare comes through. Power Ranger is going to get back with oh, the double coverage for Fiend whoa. with that ground pound knowing he would attempt to save nice ko from feed coming out picking up both but before that when they both got sent to the left side i love how the red team completely split up they somehow both knew which one was going to go high and which one was going to go low so they weren't in danger but then it ended up happening and in came that ground pound from fiend by the way we're up to five count right uh, down chat five counts of stocks that would have been lost on small brawl haven so far for the blue team still holding on to here and on their first ones and that one barely almost not taking out that is going to get him set packing the minimization on the red team though mattered so much as they only took a little bit of damage after they got knocked out blue team definitely in the lead there is a weapon spawn it's going to come out for use fiend now has his spear as well Oh man, Power Ranger was adding up some damage very quickly on a Fiend, who's definitely in the yellow. Okay, nice weapon toss to sort of break up that dare onslaught that Yuz was putting on to Power Ranger. But unfortunately for Wes, he's at the weapon disadvantage. Power Ranger is taking this moment to just go bananas on the axe and even takes out Fiend high on the right side. Okay, that one wouldn't have mattered where you were. That one was yeah, going away. You, you were done. Power Ranger sealing his fate on the right, and that actually mattered so much because Fiend and Yuz had such a good start, and then he answered back with a dominant sock like that even though they're in the red i fear for fiend and use currently i i don't know i'm looking at that damage and i'm also scared for power ranger and west we've seen use continue his survivability up on that second stock power ranger and west very much in danger of being taken out but use is gonna fall before either of them the d sig from the right side sending Ooh. to the left even with the bounce takes out power ranger west doing his best to survive. You see him immediately move to the left side of the stage where his teammate is for coverage. And West not falling even to that recovery off to the top. The second one will find it though. Everybody on last stock here. Game number five in the reset to try and take Autumn Championships.
please do this for the balds. They need this one. We need this dub right now. This bald dub would be huge. As a fan of Fiend, it's hard for me to go along with this at the moment. But right now, it is also incredibly close between all parties involved. Blue team in the red. Power Ranger is going to be sent deep oh. off stage. That's a free double up. And they close. No, it doesn't close it out on Wanda Wes. Oh my gosh. This game is so close. Six. Oh, Fiend <laughs> was so close to me taking out Power Ranger. Wes has to do this for the balls. It's game five, ladies and gentlemen. He's in That's sweat one. Beat. He gets back. Is he going to eat a side signature? Oh, Wes knew that one was coming. Oh, my goodness. D-Light's going to miss. Fiend gets him on the reversal, but does not get the closeout. Wes is going to sneak his way back on. Fiend is looking for him. Weapon gets it grabbed, and he does not get a hit. Oh, the side air, not enough to KO the weapon toss. West should be able to get the next weapon spawn. He does, it's Gauntlet. That was so close. The bounce off the stage, not gonna be enough. Will not be enough to take him out. West trying to sneak his way on. One recovery does it here uh, over Fiend. He no! goes and he gets him, he punishes him, and Fiend takes it out over Power Ranger and West. They shut it down, and your autumn, summer, your autumn championships for South America go to Fiend and use. Fiend did 700 damage almost, dude. He did 696. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because he has hair. No. It's not fair. <laughs> no. Because of the bald debuff. <laughs> They had, I kept the count going, by the way. They were up to eight. Eight stocks that normally on Small Brawl Haven would have been a knockout. Yeah. They were able to stay alive longer, so much longer here. Even after that really amazing play that Power Ranger had, that was frames off, by the way, frames. If he was just a little bit further back, he might have caught Fiend in that. And Fiend seals the deal. S it send you the replay of that one, Pranav, because I want to see how close the, uh, that side sig <laughs> was to hitting. Thank you. <laughs> Pranav was the one who sent me the uh, replay that I asked for last time, so that's my goat. I appreciate that. Fiend and Use, man, coming out on top. That, like, that's right there. It's like me putting them in third place like I wasn't confident in.